Hey guys, all of me cats here with my first Q&A live stream. I hope you guys can hear me. Can I get a feedback about the wall? Uh, can you guys hear me and see me, by the way? Because I didn't test anything. Oh, hold on, let me close the desk audio. Okay. Hi, good. <laughs> Hello. Uh, how is the voice, by the way? Is it too loud? Sounds good? Okay, sounds good. Great. Great, I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay. I guess I need to open the slow chat. Um, slow modes, let me make this 30 seconds, I think. Can I change that? I guess I can. Uh, let's make this... Oops. Can't do it. Oh, I think I did this. Done. Okay, slow mode is on so that you guys can like read the comments easily and I can also read the comments easily. Hello from Venezuela. Hi. Hi. Okay. Let me read the chat from the beginning. Okay. Let's see. When are you going to react to Hammer Times Crack? I already did it. Like before this live stream, I like reacted to her crack video and I'm going to post it soon. But first I'm going to upload it on my Patreon because you know, patrons, my patrons are able to view my videos early, so, so yeah, ex uh, like expect that video next week probably. Howdy, 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 y'all. Yeehaw! Oh my god. Are you planning to react to Game of Thrones? I'm planning to put Game of Thrones as an option on my Patreon poll, and my patrons are gonna vote to decide which shows that I'm gonna react to, and yeah, I'm planning on putting Game of Thrones there, because like, Game of Thrones is one of my favorite shows, and I might make a reaction to those. Game of Thrones reactions would be so long, yeah, they're gonna be long, and uh, I'm not planning on like putting my full reactions on YouTube since it might get a copyright strike, but I'm planning on putting my full length reactions on Patreon, actually. You should watch Xiao Long's recent video if you haven't. It's so good. I know. I actually talked with Xiao Long. Um, I messaged her and uh, and I asked her to react to her video and comment on it because I saw on Tumblr that she would love to see a reaction to her video. And I love Xiao Long's channel and I support them. Like they're they're such a great YouTube channel, and I support all of their work. And I'm gonna react to her analysis and. I'll make some commentary on it. It's gonna be a long reaction, <laughs> so prepare yourselves. Okay. Um, I'm just reading. I'm just reading everything. Okay, uh, I don't think I can see you guys' comments though. Why can't I see you guys' comments? Hold on, let me... Oh, I'm sorry, I guess you guys weren't able to send me questions. I think it should be okay now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so new at this. Can you guys li like send me messages right now? Okay. They stuck. Uh, okay then, let me close the slow mode. Okay, now you can... Where am I from? So I don't talk about where I'm from on the internet, so I'm not gonna answer to those questions. I already reacted to Hem Hemi's last crack video. Who is that channel name? I mean, you mean Xiaolong? Xiaolong's channel? Xiaolong episode 6, how do you feel? Oh, you, you, you saw how I feel if you've seen my reaction. I was ruined. But I'm not gonna talk about the episode since there might be some people on the chat like still haven't seen Xiaolong and I don't want to spoil the show for them. Hey there, welcome to the chat. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm just looking at the comments, guys. This this stream is about you guys. What does your pillow sign say? It says there's no place like home. Finally able to make it to a live stream. Hey, welcome. This is like my second live stream. I can't wait for volume six. Um, no, not six. Seven of Ruby. The bees are coming. Yes, my dude. But before that, winter is coming. Like Game of Thrones is about to start. I'm so hyped. I'm so freaking hyped. How do I feel if Clyde is 
Neil's father, who was Clyde, uh, was Clyde like the servant in Weiss's house? The Seven Dwarfs one? Yes, I won't go to sleep today. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It is also really late for me, but I, I wanted to make the live stream today. Meanwhile, there's me so excited for your red versus blue reactions. <laughs> yeah, you're one of the minority that that's like watch my red versus blue reactions, Ashley. Conspiracy. <laughs> Uh, I never thought of Klein as Neo's father, actually. Uh, I don't know. It would be cool, I guess. I, I have no clue. So I'm only here for a few minutes before a music rehearsal starts. Oh, have fun. So I just wanted to say a great channel and keep up the awesome work. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you'll enjoy your recital. What's something you want to see happen the most in Volume Seven? I wanna see. I wanna see Weiss's mom, and I wanna like m learn more about her, and I wanna see the discrimination between the faunas and the humans. These are the like stuff that I want to learn the most. I also want to like see more of uh, Atlas. Like seriously, I, I wanna discover Atlas. How's the Tumblr harem building but Dude, I don't have a harem. Please don't bring it, bring that up. Seriously. <laughs> I don't have a harem. How would you feel if Rooster Kid made a Genlock game? Oh, I would love to have a game. I'd play the heck out of it. I've been really enjoying the Red vs. Blue reactions. Zach Childs. Oh, I, I see your comments on my Red vs. Blue reactions. Thank you. Thank you for the support. My Wi-Fi sucks on the live stream is constantly like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can help you with that. How you came up with your channel name? <laughs> okay, I think you're the first person to ask me that. Like, okay, so I'm I'm actually not the meerkat. Like, there, there's this real life friend of mine from college. And I've been calling her meerkat for five years now. And it's because whenever she sees someone that she likes a dude a guy she she always becomes like this like a meerkat and like observes the guy and i've been calling her meerkat ever since and i was trying to come up with a channel name and i'm terrible with coming up with names so i couldn't find anything i asked one of my friends and her her suggestion was fury freak like she was like, "Oh, you know, you're a freak, you're a fury. Why not fury freak?" And I was like, "Okay, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to came up with a name myself." And then I talked about meerkats and I remember that there is this one silly gif. A sleepy meerkat. It's like it falls asleep while he's standing and my English, I mean, um the English pronunci pronunciation of my name. Oh, I suck. I can't talk right now, it's too late, I'm sorry. And I can't edit this video, great. Um, anyway, so English pronunciation of my name is Autumn, and it's also Fall, and that meerkat was falling, and I was like, oh, Fall of Meerkat. So yeah, that's that's literally it, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's literally it, I mean, it's better than Fury Freak. Like, come on. Okay, let me, let me check the, uh... I'm sorry if this story disappointed you, like, seriously, that's the whole story behind my channel name. What? They both have brown hair and they both have eyes that change colors. Oh, X-Files music plays. Okay. I just really love your reaction videos, Mary Kat. Oh, thank you so much. I have too many sad stories for Weiss's mom. Oh, really? You do? I would love to hear them. I'm all up for the angst and drama. You got any ideas on something you want to review? Uh, I have ideas. I have a video that I've been planning, I've been working on, and I'm not gonna tell what it is, but you guys are gonna see it when it's ready, and 
Like, I'm, I'm still planning on making a live stream for Genlock, so I'll be talking about Genlock and making a review of the season. Have you heard that in Volume 7, Ruby might lose her silver eye? There are th theories. I, I, I've never seen them, but I'm still thinking that Ruby might lose one of her eyes, at least. Like, this is Ruby. I'm sure something's gonna happen to her. Yang must be protected at all costs. Agreed. Agreed. Oh my god, what kind of a question is this? Which is worse, going on a date with Adam or Jacques Schnee? Ew. Seriously. They're both abusers. They're both piece of shits. But Jacques is like... I don't know. He's older? I don't know. It's, I, I don't, I don't want to choose. When are we gonna see Salem and Ruby Chibi thoughts? Hopefully soon, but before Salem, I wanna see Raven, I wanna see Ilya, I wanna see Maria. Seriously, I wanna see the, these three. I prefer Adam over Shocks. <laughs> I also feel like Neo might kill Cinder behind her back. Who knows? Uh. You're fake. Did you know that you appeared in a hammer time crack? I know because Hammy asked for my permission first. She sent me a message and said, Can I use the screenshot of yours? And actually, I sent her the screenshot. I was like, Okay, of course you can use it because she was in my live stream. And of course, she asked for my permission because that's what we do while we're appearing in videos. So yeah, I was I was aware and I reacted to it, but like I said, I I knew that I was gonna appear in it. How does it feel to be a guest star in Hammer Time's latest crack? Well, I I feel honored. I'm I'm honored. I mean, <laughs> I'm a meme now. Where does your accent come from? From my country. <laughs> Have you ever thought of doing book review discussions? I've never thought of this, and uh, I don't think I can make that since I recently made a Patreon account and I'm constantly adding new shows to Patreon, so I'll be mostly like making reactions for TV shows. But I also started making reactions to movies, I mean I'm planning on making a reaction for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, so I also made a reaction to Moana. I ship Adam's sword with Jacques Chini's chest. Okay. <laughs> Maria and Chibi, now I know I need that to live. Yeah, exactly. Maria and Chibi, that would be adorable. What got you got you started on reactions? Uh okay. So after I first discovered Ruby. For the first time in my life, I've seen reaction videos and I wanted to watch those reaction videos because there's no one around me that knows Ruby. I started watching these reaction videos and it, they made me feel like I'm watching the reactors. Like, they made me feel like I'm watching with a friend and I was constantly looking for reactors that has similar opinions as mine. I wanted to make reactions because I had to practice speaking in English because I needed English because I studied university like in English and we were doing some English presentations, homeworks and whatnot, and I was getting rusty. Oh god. What just happened? Are are you guys still see me? Oh, I think it's fine. Okay. So like I said, I was also wanna make friends who knows Ruby, who are in the Ruby fandom and I'm so glad I started making reactions because I got a lot of great friends now, and you know, I love sharing my excitement for the show. And seriously, I'm I'm so glad I made the channel. Oh boy, now I have more questions. Um, oh, where was I? <laughs> I'm lost. There are a lot of questions. Okay, I think I found it. Um, how would you feel about Ruby X Wise became canon? Uh, I don't really care about Wise Rose, to be honest. Like, I don't, I don't see them being canon, but I don't have a problem with the ship. So I'd be like, oh, cool, if it became canon, you know. Uh, 
I'm reading the questions. Uh, so is it true that you have a harem? I don't have a harem, guys. I don't have a harem. Where, where did that come from? Do you watch Game of Thrones? I watch Game of Thrones ever since it came out. It's been like, I don't know, eight years, I think? Like, I was little when it started. What are your favorite Ruby songs? So, I recently uh, made a Ruby Q&A video. Like, I've been holding it off, like, for two months. But I recently recorded it, and right now I'm editing it. And it's gonna be a long video, like, it's gonna be around one hour or an hour and a half, and I answered to your question in that video, so you can watch that. I, I like, I answered to a lot of Ruby-related questions in that video. It's, it's a long video, and it's, it's a pain to edit. Seriously, it's a pain to edit, and I still need to, like, put background music and whatnot, so, yeah. But stay tuned, my Ruby Q&A is on its way, so, yeah. Best ship, Boomstick or Bossman? What is Boomstick? Okay, I know Bossman is Jacques and Shopkeep, and it's an OTP of mine. It's it's my one true pairing. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Bossman. All of Meme or Meme your cat? What? <laughs> oh, all of Meme, I guess. I need Maria versus Yang and Chibi. Oh, that would be so cool. That screenshot became wallpaper and I will never change to another. You mean the screenshot that Hemi used on her crack video? Are you still keeping that as your wallpaper? Are you kidding me? Are you really telling me that I'm your wallpaper? I don't know how to feel about this. I, I'm so ugly in that screenshot. Come on. Okay. I'm crying, that's so wholesome. I wonder what is wholesome because I'm so behind at these comments. Um Oh, there's a lag I guess. Is it still lagging? How far are you liking Genlock so far? Oh I love it. I'm so invested in the show. I absolutely love it. Seriously, it's it's a great show in terms of diversity and representation and world building. I just love it so much. Are you planning to buy the coffee novel? Yeah, I'll probably buy it because I'm curious about their stories. Like I love Coco and I, I just love the whole team. Genlock game. Make a character and choose one of the characters to mentor under... What? Do you want me to make a character? I, I didn't get that question. Uh, what cosplay would you like to do? Uh, I don't cosplay. I, I've never been interested in cosplay, to be honest. But if I were ever make, to like make a cosplay, it would probably be young Maria Calavera. Or Raven Bronwyn. Seriously, I, I love Raven's outfit. And I feel like I can, like... It would be realistic if I did Maria because of my hair. You know, it's it's short, it's brown. So, And I love Maria's design, young Maria's. Like, I would love to wear something like that. Uh, okay, I'm so late. Uh, I love my wallpaper. <laughs> Why are you asking me a math question, dude? It's it's after midnight. Brazil love you. Oh, I love you guys too. Thank you. If no one's already asked this, do you have any volume 7 theories or things? You'd particularly like to see Bumblebee or otherwise. Oh, dude, Bumblebee. Okay, look. I, I want to see a lot of things in terms of Bumblebee. Like, perhaps they would kiss, or perhaps someone would act, like, racist towards Blake, and, like, Yang would be protective, like, more hand-holding. Like, there are a lot of possibilities, you know? And otherwise, uh, there are some cool stories out there that I want to see, like, how Winter might be a villain 
because some people are saying that she is based on the witch in Narnia. I, I forgot that witch's name. White Witch? I don't remember. But it's a cool story. And I just, like, I have a lot of things in mind for Volume 7. You would be so good as young Maria. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you look so cool cosplaying Raven. Okay. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I, I don't know any, like, I know nothing about cosplay. I don't think I ever cosplay a character. What made you ship Yang and Blake? Oh, that, a, a lot of things. Like, a lot of things. I, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> like, if, if I ever start talking about this, like, the whole stream would be about Yang and Blake. So, like, their, their chemistry ever since Volume 2. It's just a perfectly written love story. They, they're perfect for each other. They're yin and yang. They're beauty and the beast. They're just so great. They're soulmates. This is my short answer. <laughs> Someone needs to be the Blue Holland Mac and Jamlock. Why am I the Blue Holland Mac? Why? Seriously, why Why did you just compare me with a Blue Holland? <laughs> I I'm curious now. What semblance you like to have? I also talked about this in my Ruby Q&A video in detail. So, you might get your answer there. Yang protects, she attacks, but importantly, she loves Blake. Yes. Favorite book series, Inheritance Cycle and Lord of, the Lord of the Rings. Do you think Blake, Blake will get all the harm where all the girl with hard eyes are saying how could Blake... Is walking down the street and Yank getting jealous. Ah, oh, I, I don't think so. Do you think Atlas is gonna end up falling like Beacon? I feel like we need another big boost for the good guys. So uh, it, it might happen. Yeah, it might happen. Now I'm just imagining that island to crash, like literally fall. <laughs> It, it might happen, seriously. I mean, this is Ruby. Anything is possible in this show. Atlas falling, literally. Exactly, Atlas falling, literally. I was just about to say this, yeah. Squashy mental beneath it, oof. Might happen. The blue Mac never got used, so it's available, available. Oh, it was never used. Okay, I get it now. There is this another Mac for St. Clair and Genlock. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like my color is more like red, though. I don't know. Ruby was the first Rooster Teeth show I watched. Same here. I'm glad I caught this. I'm new to the channel, but I love the reactions. Thank you so much. Welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy your stay. I wonder what is Neptune's semblance. I never thought about it. Perhaps, like, I don't know, something to protect himself from the water or something? Sorry, there's no RTX London for you this year. Yeah, any chance you might make it to RTX in Austin someday? Uh, that's my goal. I mean, RTX London would be a better option for me since it's close to me and, like, Austin is on the other side of the world, so... And plane tickets are really high and there are just a lot of expenses. But one of the reasons as to why I made a Patreon account is to be able to go to RTX one day and to meet, me, to meet with you guys. I can't talk. So maybe in 2020 or 21, I don't know. But I definitely want to go to RTX someday. It's one of my dreams. It's 10 p.m. for you and you need to sleep. Good night. I mean, I feel like 10 p.m. is kind of early or perhaps I'm getting old. I don't know. <laughs> but good night. Please don't stay up so late. Don't be like me. Ah. Uh. 
If Maria speaks Spanish and William Sam, I lost my mind just the image of her like the typical abuelita. <laughs> that would be great to see. Ruby and Yang versus Cinder and Neo. What would you think about that? I, I would love to see it. Seriously, I would love to see it because, you know, we already got a match between Yang and Neo and Ruby and Cinder, they're foils, so that would be cool to see. I posted the wallpaper in my Tumblr. What? <laughs> you mean my picture? Okay, I'll I'll check Tumblr if you tagged me or something. Oh my god, I can't believe you're using me as a wallpaper. Uh, I'm I'm lost. Uh. Austin would be a very fun trip, though. Yeah, it would be fun. If you ever make it to RTX Austin, I'll have to finally go. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep, oh my goodness. Blake is gonna lead the revolution of Faunus and Atlas. Oh my god, that would be so cool. I'm down with that idea. That would be great. If I win the lotto, I'm flying both you and totally to RTX. You're gonna... Oh my god, both both Tali and me, I'm up for that. I would love to meet Tali one day. Uh, do you think Salem might end up joining the main characters against the gods by the end of the show? Because the gods feel more like the main villains to me. Same here, I also feel like gods are the main villains. They're just assholes and it might happen, it might happen. If they find like find a way to save Salem from that grim thing, because right now all she wants is destruction. So I don't know, but it is possible. How far ahead of Red versus Blue are you? I know you posted your reaction today, but how far ahead of that are you? Four episodes. I watched four episodes after that reaction that I posted. It's something like forty forty four chapter or something, I guess. How do you survive staying up so late? Stay healthy, please. <laughs> yeah, these days I can't sleep much. Like, in these last two weeks, I'm just having trouble sleeping for the first time in my life. I'm thinking it's about, like, being unemployed and depression and stuff like that, you know. I'm still healthy, though, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe Winter is gonna have some character development. Hopefully. Like, I, I would love to see more Winter. Any reactors you like to do a call out with, review or other? So I have this video that I, I've been planning and for that video I have some YouTubers that I have in mind to like reach out to. One of them is Shalong, the other one is Tolly, and there are a couple of more reactors that I want to reach to but I don't know how I'm gonna reach them because I don't think they know that I exist. So <laughs> it's gonna be hard but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I'm lost again. Uh, okay. Do you think Emerald and Mercury will have outfit changes? Hopefully, otherwise, Emerald is gonna freeze there. And I'd love to see them, like, with new outfits. They've been, like, wearing the same stuff for years now. Goodbye, Alexandra. Take care. Thank you for stopping by. Which you'd like to see more? Blake jealous that someone is flirting with Yang or jealous Yang? Uh, I think jealous Blake. I think jealous Blake. Maybe Ruby Steel Rise will cure Salem of the grim corruption from the waters of darkness. Who knows? It might be possible. Uh, uh what is the Winter X Crow ship name? Cold Blooded Murder or Snowbirds? Uh, the one that I know is Crow Win, I think, but I'm not so sure because I'm not into that ship myself, so 
I believe Ironwood to the relic of creation to cre what? I believe Ironwood used the relic of creation to create Penny since she's a rare robot and maybe he made an upgraded Penny, but she will be different. Oh, I never thought of Ironwood making it with a relic, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a Penny definitely. Like we're gonna see a Penny, but it's gonna be a different one, and we're gonna get a lot of feels, like because right now, like when. Even when Ruby, like, hears her line in um, Volume 5, I'm combat ready, she, she was, like, getting really sad, so I feel like it's gonna crush us. 2am rocking it, depression, sleep, this is great. Same dude. What character would you like to see returning in Volume 7? Raven! Raven, my dude. Raven is my, like, it's one of my favorites. Like, she's one of my favorites. I want to see Raven. <laughs> new characters appearing for the first time. Why is this mom for the new character one? I believe Summer tried to use her Silurize, but it didn't work on Salem. Oh. That's an interesting story, like, theory. Might be true. Uh, oh my god, a lot of questions. There are a lot of questions. Uh, what if we saw Blake go to Ruby for relationship advice? Blake go to Ruby? I mean, I don't think Ruby has a lot of experience in terms of relationship stuff, so I don't really know. But perhaps, yeah, perhaps she can ask stuff about Yang, but I don't think she needs it because she knows Yang so well. I hold out hope Penny uploaded her soul to the Beacon Central computer before she died and is waiting for Ruby to return, maybe with a new body. Wow, that's... I mean, I hope so too, but I don't think so. What drama scene do you want with the bumblebee in action? Something about racism, probably. Like seriously, something about racism or maybe... Yang would talk about how alone she was while Blake was away because I don't think Blake knows that Yang was alone. Stuff like that, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff in my mind. Xiao Wang's new video is simply amazing, I'm sure it is, I'm sure it is. Like, she, she makes great videos and I know that she worked on that video a lot so I'm sure it's gonna be amazing, I can't wait to watch it. Imagine Kingdom Hearts and Ruby crossover, how would you feel? I've never played Kingdom Hearts and I know nothing about it. I just know that there is a character with a spiky head, like hair. Uh, that's that's the only thing I know <laughs> about Kingdom Hearts. I'm lost. Uh, I think Cinder and Neo may eventually turn on Salem once. They realize that Salem wants to literally destroy the world because that is the only way she can rest. Maybe, yeah. I can see that. I hope Neo backstops look I can't pronounce backstabs Cinder and becomes the new maiden. Wow. Neo as a maiden is terrifying, dude. It's it's terrifying. I never thought about it. It would be terrifying and cool. It's past one AM where where I am, but you're worth staying up for. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bethany. <laughs> you're so sweet. It's just me rambling, seriously. I'm not doing anything, actually. I'm just trying to read, like, I feel like I'm missing things. Uh, are you accepting applications to... No, I, I don't have a harem, and I'm not, ex like, accepting applications, dude. I don't have a harem. I hate harems. I even hate harem animes and stuff. It's just, it's making me cringe. Even the thought of having a harem, like, anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't know about the grim part, but the only way to her, uh, okay. Do you believe in destiny? No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I don't know if I believe in destiny or Raven Redemption, please, yes. But to be honest, I feel like Raven is gonna die at some point and her powers are gonna like pass to Yang and it's gonna happen in her redemption arc somehow. 
she she's probably gonna try to save the kids from Salem or something because she's gonna feel bad since her daughter's there and then she's gonna die and, and then I'm gonna die because I love Raven so much. Does she know that Hammer Time finally released the video? Yeah, I know. I'm I'm I always know whenever Hammy like releases a video. I usually know it beforehand, actually. Do you think Ilya should have gone with the rest of the gang to Atlas? Yes, because I love Ilya. <laughs> I love Ilya. And I'd love to see her in Atlas. And I was hoping to see her, but Loki, I knew that she's not going to be there. But I was still like, you know, I hoped her to be there because I love Ilya. And, you know, she also has a backstory in Atlas, too. Let's Raven explain the story of Team Stark. Oh, that would be great. But, like, I'm down for any kinds of, like, backstory of Team Stark. Any kinds of episodes with a flashback. The form of your eyes are really beautiful and your nose is pretty. Uh... <laughs> you're you're making me feel embarrassed. Uh, I love you. Okay, my question is how how do you inspire yourself every day? How do I inspire myself every day? Uh, I don't think I inspire myself every day. I'm usually like, oh, I'm such a mess, and I'm I don't do anything to inspire myself, and I'm usually I'm like I don't even know why people are following this channel. To be perfectly honest. But yeah, uh, but making these videos are helping me. I know that like my videos are helping a lot of people out there, and like I love helping them, and it keeps me going, especially in this part of my life because like the economy in my country isn't been great, and that's why I can't. And my friends, we can't find jobs, and like I'm I'm a really extroverted person, but. In these last couple of months, I've been at home for the most of the time because I I know I have like nothing to do and I've been feeling depressed. But this channel is keep me going. That's why I've been like focusing on the channel more and more because like I have nothing else to do these days, other than that, like job hunting, of course. Uh. <clears throat> I'm lost again. Favorite game or game series? <clears throat> okay, so I'm not much of a gamer. But there are some of the games that I really enjoy. I mean, when I was a kid, I was playing StarCraft from Blizzard. Like, I love strategy games and Blizzard was a favorite. I mean, not Blizzard. Uh, StarCraft was a favorite of mine. <clears throat> and last year, I played Nier Automata and it was just so great. It was such a perfect game. I loved it. And when I was a kid, I was playing Jazz Jack Rabbit too. It was a, it was a silly game with '80s synth music and stuff. You're playing as a rabbit. It was also great. That's one of my favorites as well. Do you think it's possible that Ospin is responsible for Summerstadt? It could be possible, yeah. I wonder how many volumes Ruby will have. Uh, if I remember it correctly, Miles and, Miles and Carrie have like 12 volumes of it planned. So I'm thinking it's going to be like 12 volumes. Who do you think the maiden is for the Relic of Knowledge in Atlas? Someone we know or someone entirely new? I mean, either way is possible, but I'm thinking perhaps Weiss's mom. You know, because, I don't know, like, she's an alcoholic, she probably knows a lot of stuff or something, I don't know. Like, I, I always had canon, like, the Winter Maiden as Weiss's mom, but it's because, like, I, I have no more thoughts about it. Um... I kind of think that if we do get Penny back, she might be a villain. Penny 2.0 versus Ruby. God, that would crush me. That would crush me, but it is a possibility. Oh my god, it's it's possible. I hope I hope we won't see something like that. Or, or I hope we will. I love angst. Would 
Would you like to see Weiss's father? I, I never, like, I don't want to see Jacques Schnee ever again, to be perfectly honest. But I'm also hoping to see him because, like, I want to explore Weiss's family situations more and stuff like that. And I want to I wanna see him dead. So, yeah. Just like Adam. Uh, there are a lot of questions. Have you ever read any good Ruby fanfiction? So I'm not much of a fanfiction reader, but there's this one fanfiction author that I love. Um, 12 Clara. I think, I think her rc one our own name is Explosive Sky. I love her fanfictions. I highly recommend it to you guys. It's, it's amazing. Just go and check Explosive Sky's works. If you love Bumblebee, that is. Because they're all Bumblebee fics. Yeah. What do you think of the idea of um, Raven having a crush on Summer? Oh, that would be cool. I mean, they're both badass, they're both amazing, and I'm gay, so I'm down with the idea. I really wanted Ilya showing my surreal reality of the faunus workers and mental. Oh, that, that would have been great. I follow your channel because I love your accent. Oh, thank you. I'm I'm actually really self conscious about my accent, but thanks. Uh, reactions on your your lovely person. Oh, thank you so much. Nier is fantastic. One of my favorite games ever. Same dude. It's it's amazing. Oh, Life is Strange is like another favorite games of mine. Like Life is Strange and Life is Strange Before the Storm. But I I I've never played them myself. I just watched like playthroughs. But I love the story of Life is Strange. We follow your channel because you're incredibly sweet and it offers a haven from the negativity in some other parts of the fandom. Thank you so much. Aw, oh, thanks. Thank you, seriously. Maria vs. Jacques would be great. I would love to see Maria kicking Jacques' ass, to be honest. What's one of your favorite book series? The Lord of the Rings, one of my favorites, and The Inheritance Cycle, again, one of my favorites. Laura series is again one of my favorites. It's from a um, German writer. Oh, there are a lot of stuff here. Um. Oh my goodness, guys! There are a lot of questions. <laughs> okay. Do you think Whitley is gonna be the Joffrey of Ruby and try to take out his own father to become head of the company and blame it on the Faunus assassinating him? Wow, I never thought of that, but well, Whitley is... I mean, he's shitly. I mean, I, I expect that because I feel like he's power hungry and he can totally do something like that. Um... Are you willing to cover One Punch Man Season 2 starts in April? I don't know. I mean, I stopped making reactions to anime, but I recently made a poll and had some anime options on my Patreon. So if like, if my patrons would decide for me to make an anime reaction or like per perhaps for One Punch Man Season 2, then I will. But I don't know. For now, I don't have a plan. For now, I'm like reacting to Shira and I'll probably be reacting to Shira Season 2. And maybe Dragon Prince, they're all Netflix series, but who knows? It's up to my patrons, seriously. Um, I'm reading the comments. So when are we gonna get your reaction to Hammer Time's Lost Ruby Cracks? Soon. But first, I'm gonna upload it on my Patreon for early access. Whitley is more like Cersei, while Papa Shini is more like Joffrey. 
Yeah, true. Oh, I guess I'm caught up with the questions. Oh my god, that's a miracle. Am I caught up? Because it's not scrolling anymore. Oh yeah, I'm caught up. I guess I answered to you all of, all of your questions, I assume. Should I end the stream here? It's been 48 minutes. <laughs> well, now I'm, I'm prod. What camera are you using? I'm using a Logitech something. I forgot its name. Fox isn't around. I'm using a Logitech camera. What? I don't remember. Recap, where is your water bottle? Firecracker stuff. It's 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 an inner joke between friends. And my water bottle is here. I also have another one, actually. <laughs> Quick more questions. Yeah, I'm about to leave if you don't ask me more questions. It's already getting late. I kind of hope we get Adam flashbacks with Blake. Oh, I, I don't. I don't, really. Ugh. Even the thought is making me cringe. Lightning rounds. I can make a lightning round, but there aren't any questions right now. <laughs> Have you considered doing gaming streams with your audience? Uh, I actually thought of doing that, but my computer is like a trash for that. Like I need to get a new computer to be able to do streams. I should really sleep soon because I have a presentation tomorrow and one of my group members just quit, but I'm procrastinating. <laughs> Go and sleep. Your school is more important. What was first, the chicken or the egg? Just don't end the stream. Oh my god. Just don't end the stream. Okay, I'm here and there are still 46 people watching it. Oh my god. Uh... I've been noticed a lot, so I think I'm satisfied. <laughs> yeah, I know you. You're the one who's using me as your wallpaper. I know you. I recognize you. I'm always going to recognize you, Nora. Um, are you planning on a Volume 6 soundtrack review? Absolutely. I'm actually thinking of making a live stream for Volume 6 soundtrack. I mean, last year I wasn't able to make a live stream because I didn't have a webcam or a microphone. And I recorded the video on my phone, but this time I'm planning on a live stream so that we can like listen to the songs together. And again, I'm gonna put the lyrics on my video just like I did last year so that I can understand the lyrics and comment on them. Also, you guys can understand the lyrics. I'm gonna make a word file and I'm planning on doing a, like a live stream. So yeah, definitely. What's your favorite kind of food? Food from my country. <laughs> How would you feel about Papushni getting branded with SDC? Sweet Revenge. Oh, that would be great. I would be so satisfied to watch that. I would like eat popcorns and stuff while watching that. You know, Zwein German trans. Yeah, I know. I know a little bit German. I'm still learning though. <laughs> Eins. <laughs> okay. Yang and Ruby had another dog. It's okay. It's. <laughs> That that was good. Okay. I hope Blake and Wise talk more about the faunas. Yeah, that would be cool. But you know what I want more? It's Blake and Ruby interactions. Seriously, I want I want that shit. Like I need that shit. You wanna Bumble Bumblebee kiss the next season or what? Of course, my dude. Multiple, if possible. You guys are doing everything you can to come up with questions. <laughs> okay. Um. Nevermore. Will I be afraid? Nor will I. Okay. And now you're posting lyrics. <laughs> Not nevermore is my jam. Nevermore. Is such a great song. Who would kiss first in the show, Renora or Bumblebee? And if so, who would kiss who first? Uh well so far it's like first Renora gets the development and then Bumblebee gets like a similar thing in terms of scene. So I feel like perhaps Renora first and then Bumblebee next. And definitely 
Nora would kiss Ren, Ren and Blake would kiss Yank. That's what I'm thinking. Father take Bumblebee and Renoricus in the same episode. Oh my god, all of the shipping community on Ruby, like, it, it would explode. Let Ruby call Blake her sister, yes please. What's been your favorite song so far? My favorite song? Ugh, that's a hard one. I answered to this in my Ruby Q&A video, but I don't remember my answer because I was like looking through all of the songs on Spotify. I'm thinking, I guess I said one of Weiss's songs, but I can't remember. But you, you're gonna see it in, in the uh, Ruby Q&A video. Um, I have college in four hours, but I don't want to leave. What are you doing, Carlos? Just sleep and go, go to your college. Oop, we got a super chat. Here's an interesting idea. What if they did Mecha Team Ruby like Mecha Cooler or Sonic? Also, I don't like Bumblebee and they shouldn't have killed. Adam, please don't kill me. Uh, okay, so about... I I'm not gonna kill you, don't worry. But like, and I personally do like Bumblebee and they kind of had to kill Adam because it was self-defense. They, they gave him a chance, but Adam was gonna kill them, like... He was reaching for the gun and he didn't back away and he just kept attacking Blake and Yang and I didn't I don't think we can like they didn't have any other option. They tried to make him leave. Yang said that like this is your last chance and stuff like that, but he just didn't back off, so they had to kill him kill him at the end to like survive on their own. Otherwise he was gonna keep stalking them and try to kill them. Like it's so that's why I think it was their only option. And your idea, Mecha Team Ruby, like Mecha Cooler or Sonic? Uh, I don't know Mecha Cooler and Sonic. I mean, I watched Sonic as a kid, but I don't remember any mechas there. Were there any mechas there? All right, other questions. What would be the most satisfying way to punish Jock Shinny? Okay, I'm not a punishing... Experts, so I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know any torturing techniques or anything. I'm sorry, you're so fun to be around and you're gay and lonely and don't want to let you go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm also gay and lonely these days. I, I need more gay friends in life. In real life. I'm sorry. What's your favorite color? It's red. My favorite color is red. My gay tears are trying to get out of my eyes. <laughs> Imagine volume 7 will be a genlock battle. Wow. I don't think we need more mechas in Ruby, to be honest. I mean, I'm so done seeing mechas on Ruby with Cordovan's mecha. And I think we should save mechas on genlock, to be honest. Sonic 3 has Mecha Sonic. Oh, I've never I've never seen that. Which is where uh, Josie, stop giving me money. You're young and you're still a student. <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you for the donation, but you didn't have to. Uh what what was the other question? Um Which is worse? Shipping Adam with Yang or with Blake? Oh, I'm sorry for this question. Yeah, you should be sorry for this question. Why Why are you asking me this? I don't want to think about this. It's, it's equally worse. I mean... He was Blake's abuser, so shipping him with Blake is just yikes. But also, like, he... Chopped off Yang's arm and, you know, it's just yikes. No. No. Do you think Watts is linked to Penny's creation? I don't think so. I think it's gonna be a new character that we're gonna see. Uh, perhaps... That doctor in the game of the Grim Eclipse, but no. I guess that doctor was only interested in Grim and stuff. I think it's gonna be a new character. That's what I'm thinking. 
can you react to Hammer Time's new video? I, I already did, and I'm gonna upload it soon. The smaller Atlas Max were great, but Cordovans was a bit much. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. <coughs> My voice is leaving me. Do you ship White Rose too? No, I don't ship White Rose. <coughs> My only ships are Bumblebee and Renora. You haven't seen Mecha until you've played Armored Core. I, I don't know what that is. I wish I could watch Shira. You can you can watch it on Netflix if, if you have one. You can torrent it, like you can pirate it. Don't let anyone know that I said this. You can find it. Internet. Anyway, uh <laughs> Let's move on. I love torturing you, dude. Why? I would ship Adam with a trash can, but even that's bad. Poor trash can! Don't do that to the pure trash can, please. I'm just wondering where do you live? I live in Earth. Can you believe that? But yeah, I... Uh... I usually don't like to talk about where I'm from. Have you seen episode 7 of Genlock yet? Yes, uh, I recorded my reaction to Genlock episode 7 before this live stream. I seen it. I wasn't prepared for that emotional scene. ASMR. Oh god. <laughs> Are you talking about my whispering? I'm sorry. Can you imagine Bumblebee marriage at the finale of the series or even with kids? Hopefully, like, they've been getting a lot of developments, even though we're in the earlier volumes, and it's gonna be a first for me to see an LGBT couple progressing, like, improving their relationship, and yes, Bumblebee marriage, yes, kids, yes, absolutely, please. I, I wanna see those Bumble babies. Good night, have a good night. Okay, oh, sorry, goodbye, have a good night. I can't even talk at this point. Good night. Adam x death. That's a good ship. Um, what inspired you to get into engineering and what are your future career goals? Engineering or none? What inspired me to get into engineering? Okay, so I was, I've been always interested in science ever since I was a kid. I mean, I read a lot of science books, and God, I just love science so much. And that was what I was good at. Like, I was good at physics, mathematics, chemistry, biology, and stuff like that. And, like, at first I was interested in getting into the med school, because that's what my mom wanted me to do. But I changed my mind. Like in the last second and I decided to go to an engineering school instead of a med one because I was more interested in like physics and stuff and like my country needs more like women engineers to be honest like we don't have a lot of female engineering and I think it's a shame I think it's a shame that not a lot of women think of becoming an engineer and you know, I just thought that I was good at it. Like, I don't think I could have been a good doctor or anything because I get sad and upset so easily. I emphasize with people too much and I couldn't handle, like, I couldn't have handled, like, always look after patients. That would just make me die slowly. And, and then I discovered systems engineering, industrial engineering, and I don't know if you've heard, but, um... One of the biggest classes that we take in industrial engineering is operations research. And I actually chose this um, major because of operations research. I made a research on it and it's basically making a mathematical model in life in general to make decisions, to like, you know, um, get the optimal solution based on 
based on mathematical equations and it's like turning life into a mathematical program and it's just so cool and I love it and that's why I choose like because of operations research I, I chose industrial engineering and our job is basically keeping things like optimal and I just love it so much like it's my thing it's more like a social job like it's we're not in the technical things like mechanical engineers or mechatronic engineers we're more social we're like a bridge between the workers and like the managers and stuff because we also take care of the ergonomics and stuff for workers and I always have a like good relationship with workers as well and I also love to like work in the production part in the factories and I don't know I just <laughs> I just I just love it I, I love industrial engineering uh, I also I was also doing a double major in computer engineering because um, I had the chance to do it because of my grades and I I also studied computer engineering for a year and I love computer science like I love coding and I love learning new coding languages but it was just too much for me in in school like it was in my second year in college when I was doing a double major and like my laboratory classes were killing me and I had to make a decision because like it was draining me and I wasn't able to do the stuff that I love like I, I love going out with friends hanging out in bars and stuff like that but I was I had to like study 24 7 it was so h harsh that's why I dropped computer engineering um, but it was also really fun. I love computer science and I'm really good at coding but these days I forgot like a big part of it but I really want to learn Python I, I think that's how you pronounce it I wanna I wanna learn Python um and I don't know when I'm gonna learn it but I really wanna like learn it on my own on YouTube and whatnot there are a lot of courses out there but yeah I just love science and the social part or the arts those weren't my things I was always interested in science ever since I was a kid even though none of like no no one in my family are into science, but for some reason I don't know. I feel like I was born this way, you know. That's why I chose engineering and specifically industrial engineering because of operations research. Okay, I've been rambling. Oh my god. Okay, there are a lot. Of, oh oh, what is this? Full Metal Ninja. What have you done? <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Hey Autumn, how are you doing? Sorry, I can't contribute to your Patreon monthly bills and all. But I hope this helps anyway. As for my question, <laughs> oh my god, that's that's a lot. You you didn't have to. Thank you. Oh, you're one of the people that asked me if I had Patreon, if I want to make a Patreon or not before I made it. I. You make me emotional. It's too late for this. <laughs> okay, what is your question? Uh, thank you. As for my question, do you think we'll see Penny again? When the crew goes to Atlas, I think we're definitely gonna see Penny because I think that the scientist that made her also made another version of Penny, but this time it's not gonna be Penny. Like I'm, I'm thinking that it's gonna have the same body, like shape as Penny, but her personality is gonna be different because Penny had her aura, and you have to have a soul to be able to have your aura, so. I'm thinking Penny that we've seen in the earlier volumes, in volume 3 specifically, that was in volume 3, uh, and volume 2, I think, yeah, volume 2 and 3, I don't know, I don't trust my memory, anyway, I think she was special and unique, and I don't think we're gonna see her again, but we're gonna see another Penny, but it's it's not gonna be her, and honestly, I can't wait to see that arc, because... There is this whole arc there because we we've got a glimpse of that scientist like he was in the car he was observing and Ironwood also mentioned him if I remember it correctly so there's a whole arc based on Penny and that scientist and God I can't wait to see that arc like it, it's good I don't need come back okay I think I'm back all right uh I'm going with the questions. 
if Cinder came back, would would Emerald and Mercury side with her or Salem? Uh, I'm thinking Emerald would definitely be side with Cinder because she loves Cinder so much, and Mercury would side would side with Salem. Who do you ship in Genlock? Golden Clock, which is Valentina and Yas. But I feel like I mean after seeing anyway, I'm not gonna give any spoilers. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna talk about Genlock. But I I, I love um. I love the th thought of Valentina and Yasmin, and I also love Chase and Miranda. I'm trying not to wake up my aunt and my friend. Is it because I'm making you laugh or something? Okay. Blakey Yang said chicken. Okay. Welcome, welcome to the chat, Blakey. Of course you type chicken. She loves chicken. Blakey Yang she loves chicken, guys. Oh, by the way, be sure to like check Blakey Yang's channel if you haven't. If you love Bumblebee, go check our videos out. They're great. Oh no no no! I'm not gonna read that thing about yours. I don't want yours on my live stream. Need me some nuts and dolls stuff? Oh, nuts and dolls is pure. It's such a pure ship. Chase on Miranda is worth chasing, even the ship name is cute. It really is. Worth chasing is such a great name for the ship. How do you imagine Yang and Blake in Volume 7? Like their interactions or the way way they talk with each other? Their dynamics? Sorry for my English. Your English is really great. Why are you apologizing? Your English is great. Uh okay. Their dynamics are exactly gonna be like a married couple. Lots of hand holdings, like protecting each other against the like racist people. Just they're they're gonna be like an old married couple, <laughs> and they're gonna get weird with each other. Maybe like I don't know, I don't know, and maybe some kisses. I don't know. Not some dolls is a cinnamon roll ship. True. If you were to ask for a new ficlet, what might you want the prompt to be? I'm a simple girl. I would go with college roommates. I, I just love that shit a lot. I love Yas so much. Same. Yas is my favorite character in Genlock at this point. I relate to her a lot. Do you think that Yang will take Blake and the others? Oh, tell Blake and the others about Raven leaving and that Raven's the spring maid. Eventually, I'm I'm thinking she's gonna tell them eventually. I mean, I'm sure she hasn't told them because you know they just got united and Crow and Ospin were with them, so that's why she hasn't she hasn't told them. But I'm sure she's gonna she's gonna tell them at some point. Do you think the bees are going to get get matching outfits again? Definitely, they're yin and yang. Like they always get matching outfits and stuff. Farm boy needs to be protected. Agreed. What if we see Crow and Weiss's mother deal with their drinking problems? Oh, that would be such a cool arc. You know, perhaps Crow is gonna see um Weiss's mom and. He's gonna decide, you know, I don't wanna be like this, I don't wanna be like this woman, and I need to work on my alcoholism and stuff. I don't know. But yeah. Do you think we'll see protective girlfriend TM Yang? Definitely, because they're going to going to a racist place and Blake is a faunus. Definitely. One day I will create a lesbian ship in one animation series. Bumblebee is an inspiration for all of us and can't be lost. Agreed. Bumblebee is so unique and so precious. And yeah. What are you hoping for as Blake's new weapon? I'm thinking we're gonna get an upgraded version of Gamble Shroud. Because, you know, Gamble Shroud... I mean, Blake's fighting technique is... With Gamble Shroud. I... I couldn't build up the sentence, but you know what I mean. I mean, it has to do something about. It has to be something about the, like gamble shroud. 
I gotta bow out for a bit, but hopefully I'll be back to drop back in before the stream's done. Goodbye, thank you for stopping by. I already reacted to Hammer Time's last video, guys. What would you think about one of Blake's ears getting cut or scarred in the future? Oh, that would look hot. That would be hot. I mean, it's painful to think that she would get a like, scar like that, but that would be so cool. Also, imagine Blake with like earrings. Oh, that would be great. That would look so badass. I want to see Blake help Yang fix her prosthetic arm. I think it would be a cute bonding moment to give them a chance to talk. Oh, you're right, you're right. And considering the fact that they built their own weapons in Signal Academy, like Yang built her own weapon, um, I'm thinking that's a real possibility, like she might help her. Have you ever received any hate comments because of shipping Yang, Yang and Blake? All the time, my dude! I don't want to talk about them, but some people actually hate me because I ship Yang and Blake. And I hate Adam. Some people actually hate me because I hate Adam. <laughs> like, I, I've been getting ridiculous comments. Like, you have no idea. All kinds of insults and stuff like that, you know? I've been called a dyke, a bitch, and I don't know. All kinds of things, actually. I don't know if you read it, but... Do you have any thoughts... Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Do you have any thoughts on silence in Atlas? I, I've never read it. I, this is my first time hearing it. Um... Being hated for hating Adam should be a badge of honor. Thank you, I'm, I'm carrying it with proud. What advice would you give to someone thinking about coming out of the closet for the first time? Oh my god, that's a hard question. Okay. So, I've been slowly coming out to the close people in my life over the years. Uh, the first person that I came out was one of my best friends and I came out to her because at the time I was hating myself because of my sexual because I just discovered like I've been trying to come to terms with my sexuality and I was feeling like everyone is gonna hate me because of my sexuality because uh like we don't have any rights in where I live and people act like we don't like we shouldn't exist, or we are mentally ill, and we should go to therapy for having feelings for the same gender. And like my mom was also thinking the uh, the same thing. And uh, I was feeling really bad. I was thinking that I was mentally ill, and that I needed therapy. But I I started to make research before coming out to anyone, um, because I didn't know. A lot of I, I didn't have a lot of information about LGBT because you know I, I wasn't even aware that they exist like we exist until high school or something and uh, I started to find some LGBT YouTubers and you know try to get more information about the stuff like what does a lesbian mean? What does a gay person mean? What What is bisexuality? What is pansexuality? And what are who are trans people? I, I didn't know any of these stuff. And uh, thanks to my English, I was able to get into, like get more information about this stuff. And I realized perhaps I wasn't actually mentally ill. And perhaps this is like a normal thing. And perhaps that f specific friend of mine wouldn't hate me for it because she's also like me in terms of mentality and all and one day I just like you know I was sitting with her we were having a drink and I was shaking I was holding my beer and my hands were shaking I was like you know I gotta, I gotta tell you something but I don't know how because you know she's also like woman and I thought she would think that I have feelings for her or something and I told her and she was like, was that it? Really? It's it's okay. You didn't have to be, like, 
this scared or anything. Nothing's nothing's gonna change. And I mean, what I'm trying to say is, if if you want to come out to someone, and if you think that your parents are not gonna be supportive, I would say come out to one of your friends that you trust, that you think that um that someone is not gonna judge, because it's important, like, even if you have one person in your life that knows about your sexuality and is not judging you and is there for you, that works a lot of things, like, it makes things easier, because you know that there is one person out there that loves you for who you are, like, accepts you as who you are, like, all of yourself, because our sexuality is a part of ourselves, and most of us are trying to, like, hide that part of ourselves, and most of the people in our lives don't know that part about us, ourselves, and it's it's actually sad, and I, I've seen that on the internet, people are usually complaining about how we always talk about our sexualities, we make everything about our sexualities, how we, you know, allow LGBT couples and shows and you know, you know, all that jazz. They're like, oh, it's 2019, why are you guys making this a big deal? I'm sorry, but not every place is the United States. And we're talking about this stuff because we can't talk about it in real life. And we're trying to connect with people like us on the internet, and we're trying to find representation because we don't see it in real life. It is hard. It is hard to accept yourself. I know people that commit suicide because of their sexualities because some countries aren't there they're they're homophobic and most of our parents are also not supportive and like I, I'm I'm never gonna forget the time when my mom said that I, I need therapy because of my feelings. Because you know my mom is my role model and uh she's my best friend and you know <laughs> And when when she told me that I was I, I need therapy, I was just so sad and devastated, and I I was just looking for something to hold on, and thankfully my my friend helped me with it, and I'm getting emotional. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna talk about this. Uh, why am I talking about this? Uh, shit. I'm sorry. So yeah, if you wanna come out to someone, I would say come out to someone that you really trust because. It's important to find out someone. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is my first time crying in any of my videos. I hate. So uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't talk. I. Oh god, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Give me a moment. Ah, uh, I'm. I'm really. <laughs> Uh, I'm not used to talking about this in real life. Uh, I'm shaking. Anyway, so if, if you're in a homophobic household or in a country in general, I would say just, you know, come out to someone that you really trust. You don't have to come out to your family if you think that they would disown you for it or, you know, make you feel bad about yourself. Uh, you know, just... Even one person is enough, trust me on that, it's... Even if you have one person, and it doesn't matter if it's in real life or not, like, like you have internet now. I have, um, friends in the Ruby fandom, and I have friends online, and they're helping me a lot, because... You know, they're like me, and I don't see that in real life that much, and... Just try to connect with someone on Tumblr or on Discord, there are a lot of servers out there, they're, they're filled with great people, you know, but just be careful if you're a minor though, <laughs> because there are a lot of weird people out there, and it could be dangerous, but there are also a lot of uh, great people out there, so just find someone, and if, if you're having any issues in terms of like coming out or like loving yourself like i i have a tumblr blog um you can you can send me an ask there there are a couple of people that i talk to on tumblr who are younger than me who are in their 18s and i'm trying to help them um in terms of their sexualities and stuff and i'm sharing my own experiences with you know my relationships with 
guys that I had and uh, how it was hard to like discover myself. Uh, I, 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 I try to help you. I would love to try to help you if, if you need any help because I know how hard it is to be alone in this regard and uh, so I don't know if you know my talk. I also have a Twitter. You can just send me a tweet and I will get you back and I would love to talk to you. You can talk to me. Um, like, anyway, uh, this is getting embarrassing. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, qu what are these? Oh my god, guys, what have you done? I just seen some super chat. You didn't have to. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I should end this live stream. Seriously, this was embarrassing. I hope none of, like, there are already 45 people here. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I, I have some super chats. Let me read them. Um, God, this is embarrassing. I'm so emotional. <laughs> I swear I'm usually not like this. <laughs> I'm just not used to talking about this topic. Uh, challenge accepted to see if we can make Autumn cry. <laughs> you did make me cry. How dare you? Oh my God. Sorry, feeling both mischievous and generous at the same time. You gave me $300. Why? <laughs> Why are you guys like this? That's... You, you didn't have to. You're already my patron, Chris. Oh my god. I also got your email. You, you didn't have to do this. Okay, I'm, I'm not crying. I'm trying not to cry. I'm fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> you didn't have to. Thank you, uh, and I love your sweet soul, thank you, uh, question just because, have, have you read any of the Life Strange com- I haven't, I haven't, do we have comics? Oh wait, I guess we have, yeah, I think I seen a cover, um, of one on Twitter the other day. Chris, you didn't have to, I, it's getting close to 5am and I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm crying, okay, we circuit. Wish, what are you doing? <laughs> you didn't have to. Wish. Oh, great, you see me like this as well. Well, this is getting more and more embarrassing. I hope none of my, like... <laughs> you gave two separate donations. Why? <laughs> I hope none of my Tumblr rituals are seeing me like this, I swear. Thank you. You didn't have to. Oh, I sometimes forget there are still places that are like this with LGBT still. Thanks for sharing and for being you. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, in where I'm from, they hate us. Yeah, we don't have any rights or like, I don't know, they hate us for religious stuff. And yeah, it's hard. <laughs> like we can't even like do pride walks because police always attacks us for some reason. And yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Like if, if people would know about my sexuality, I would probably never find a job like it or I'm already in a job and like, my co-workers would know it, they would probably talk to a manager and would want them to, like, fire me or something. It's it's crazy, like, some part of the world, like, seriously, it's... Okay, I missed a lot of questions, I'm so sorry. I've been rambling. <laughs> okay, there are a lot of stuff. Oh, this is embarrassing. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, questions. Oh shit. I swear I'm not like this. <laughs> Usually I'm not like this. Okay, I'm seeing emotional stuff again, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, I live in a pretty conservative area where LGBT people are pretty demonized. I I'm the same, yeah. Well, I I'm the same, dude, yeah. I feel you. Thanks for sharing your story, Autumn. I'm trying to get the courage to come out to my family, and this really helps me out. I'm glad if this is helping you all, seriously. Uh, just, you know, when it's time for you to come out, like, you don't have to do it. Um, you don't have to do it right away. Like, you kind of feel, feel it when you want to come out to someone, and you, like, like, you feel it in your guts. You're like, oh, this person w won't judge me. And you're like, this person would definitely judge me. Like, I still have some friends that I haven't talked about this because 
I know that they're low-key homophobic and I love being friends with them and I don't want them to like stop talking with me just because of my sexuality because some people like when some people learn about your sexuality they think that your whole personality is that you know you know when when you describe someone you usually use stuff like oh the girl with short hair and like short brown hair and you know with big eyes I don't know like tall, short, whatever. But when you talk about your sexuality, it would be like, oh, that that lesbian, you know, that lesbian girl. I feel like she's hitting on me or something. Like there is some stereotypical weird people out there, and they are the reason as to why I usually don't talk about this, because you know those stuff make me cringe, and they could affect my like professional career. So that's why I'm trying to like not come out to everyone or like i i have a separate life i have my personal life and then i have accounts in which i'm constantly gay i'm like oh i'm gay oh my god this girl is beautiful today i'm feeling gay holy shit the bees are gay so that's why i have my tumblr and twitter um with my youtube accounts because i can't show that part of myself in real life like i can't i can't be like that in my personal accounts because I have an image to like I have an image and I have to protect it for my career so it sucks but you know by the way if you're young and if, if you're having issues in your country if you don't have rights um you can you can think of engineering uh, one of the other reasons as to why I chose engineering uh, that I didn't mention is because a lot of other country countries are in desperate needs of engineers and if you're young if you're female and if you're an engineer and if you know english like more importantly just work on your english and if you know this stuff then you can immigrate to a different country that's been my goal for years um i have like two countries in mind that you might want to check one of them is canada and the other one is australia um they they need engineers like young engineers and you don't get to deal with racism in those places because they're like immigrant countries so i would suggest you to check those countries like if you don't want to leave that in that country because you don't have any rights and like you, your mentality is not suitable with others like because i know how that feels like you can think of immigration it's, it's hard but it's not impossible just just work on your skills anyway let me read the comments. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I see a lot of love. Look, look, I don't want to get more emotional. I wasn't thinking of sharing this. <laughs> it wasn't. I was thinking of like talking about Ruby and shit. You're an inspiration to me and so many others. I I don't deserve to be that seriously. I, I'm just a random girl on the internet who's trying and struggling with things and just, you know, I just watch stuff. <laughs> I don't deserve that. I I just sit here and watch the shows that I love and make comments on, seriously. I'm not gonna cry again. <laughs> there are 50 people here. This is embarrassing. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> wish I could give you a big hug. Oh, Blake King, I love you. I love you so much. Thanks. Oh, I'm emotional. I'm actually cranked. I'm so sorry for making you cry. I'm so sorry. I I hate being like this. Okay. Oh. I'm studying architecture and hoping to go to Canada. That is perfect. Yeah, Canada, like architecture is a great way to go to a different country as well. I'm I'm so happy for you. Yeah, you should totally do that if you want to go to Canada. It's it's a great way. And if you're into biology and you have good grades, you can think of med school as well. Um if you if you're thinking of med school, you can like try to go to some other countries in Europe as well because like they're taking doctors instantly, so... Oh god. <laughs> I'm so emotional. 
I hate this. What do you think is going to happen in this week's Genlock episode? Look, I would love to talk about Genlock, but I'm thinking there are some people here that hasn't seen, that haven't seen Genlock yet, so I don't want to spoil anything. Notice me, Senpai. I, I noticed you. Bloody Raid 0907. And I'm not a Senpai. But yeah, I noticed you. Shit. Okay. Do you speak Spanish? Uh, I took Spanish classes in college, but I'm not good at it. You were a light for me in dark times. Oh, dude. Uh. How do you feel about the Wick situation? I stand with victims and I could care less about Wick. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think I, I've been through all of the questions and it's getting late and I'm an emotional mess and I'm... I feel embarrassed. <laughs> Perhaps I should end the stream here. Jeez. Okay. Uh. You didn't read any questions from me. The Erex, send me again. I'm looking, looking at it. Which, which, which questions? I, I, I tend to miss things. Uh, favorite red versus blue character so far? Donuts. I love donuts. <laughs> I mean, my country is under dictatorship, and the majority of my family is struggling to survive. It's not easy to live. I hate how I hate how it is, but I always remain hopeful, and I hope you too. Uh, my country is. Uh, it's it's similar. Uh, our president is kind of a dictator. He's a piece of shit. I wish he would die soon. Seriously, I hate him. And it's kind of the same. And our political stuff in my country is a mess. And it's affecting everything, like my career, me finding a job, and me getting a visa to other countries. So yeah, I feel you. Just stay hopeful and just get yourself a grade. Get yourself a grade. I don't know, like engineering, like architecture like i don't know med school just do something that would work for you like just get yourself a ticket that would help you to go to a different country like you can do that you can absolutely do that oh i'm a mess <laughs> i'm a mess what country do you live in it's fine if you don't want to say yeah i don't want to say uh but let me tell you like I'm not European like many people think. I'm not from Europe, if that would give you a clue. Oh. Incorrect Bumblebee, you're here. <laughs> the last time you, like, I saw you, you were fighting with me on Twitter as to, like, you were saying Blake is top and Yang is bottom, which is wrong, you know. Yang is a star is top. You've always been a big and beautiful light in the Bumblebee fandom, dude. We're so lucky to have you. Dude, we're so lucky to have you as well. Like, seriously, your your Twitter accounts, your beautiful art. Like, I love you so much. Seriously. Like, your your quotes always make me laugh. And your art is adorable. Seriously, you're just... A, you're just so, just so great. I know we don't interact much on Twitter, but I just love you so much. And I support you so much. I'm just not good with interacting with... People in general, online, I mean, just I just love you so much, though. Seriously, we should chat more. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, I I'm missing questions. Miranda and Chase, without spoiling other, do you believe that we can see Miranda and the other mecha pilots in the final chapter fighting alongside the Jamlock team? Uh, hopefully. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't believe that they're. I'm not gonna say anything. Hopefully. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Fingers crossed. If you get you to RTX, will you run away with me? Uh, it depends. <laughs> it depends, dude. It depends. I don't know you, so... I had a good time following Ruby, and you have become my favorite catcher along with Murder of Birds, so thank you so much. People still trying to get you to RTX. Guys, I, I appreciate the support, but I want to go on my own. Like, I, I've never been someone who, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just not my thing to, like, ask for, you know, money from people who support me to, like, go see a convention. Uh, the reason as to why I made Patreon is because, you know, 
I make more content for the people who support me. Like, I, I, I don't like those fun stuff because it's basically people are giving you money to send you somewhere or some, something. But I would love to, like, make something for those people who support me and giving me money. And that's why I've been trying to work on my Patreon and I've been trying to make more videos and learning more stuff, like using OBS. I don't know, like, adjusting this microphone. It, it was so freaking hard. And, you know... I'm just trying to work on, like, to, like, give more content to you guys. Like, just try to get support without doing anything is not really my thing, uh, if that makes sense. And, like I said, I have my issues with Wysa. Like, if people would try to, like, collect money from me, for me, and I wouldn't be able to get a Wysa, I would be, like, devastated, and I don't want that. I, I want to go there on my own. I mean, hopefully I will get an engineering job soon and I will also work part-time for YouTube and I will save enough money to go there, but I want to do it on my own, so... But yeah, thank you. Thank you for even thinking that. <laughs> but no, I, I'm not planning on escaping with someone on RTX. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, I'm trying to... Do you want to move out of your country? Yeah, I I, I want to immigrate. Uh, I also convinced some of my friends. They're also engineers like me. I was like, look, we can we can get a visa to Australia. It's really easy. Just work on your English. Speak English. You can speak English with me or do something, you know, because they're afraid of speaking English. Um, and I was like, you know, you can talk to me and stuff, but they get embarrassed while talking in English. But they need it because they need to take IELTS to be able to get their visa. So I'm trying to convince them. And hopefully we're gonna immigrate and try to find jobs there. I'm thinking of Australia because it's easy for me to get a visa there and they're like, like I said, they're looking for engineers and industrial engineering is one of them. So yeah, hopefully I will immigrate to Australia. I'm just hoping that things won't go worse in my country before I go there. Because like the politics sucks right now in here, so I don't know. Yang is a service top. Exactly, dude. You know it. Okay. No, if she gets to RTX, she has to fight me. I, <laughs> I already challenged her to duel. That's a promise, Lish. I'm gonna challenge- Like, I'm gonna duel with you. Like, I'm gonna get a gun and... We can fight. I don't know how we're gonna fight, but yeah. I'm up, I'm up for that. Wait. There's a lot of stuff. Hmm, I'm reading. What? That would be lovely. I've heard horror stories of Australian internet from streamers I follow. I don't think it could be worse than this, seriously. My internet is not that great. How do you learn English? Okay, so I think in my third part of my Q&A videos, I talked around half an hour as to how I learned English, starting from the beginning, like starting from my childhood and how I improved myself. Um, the title of that video was literally how I learned English, actually. You can, you can go to my Q&A playlist and watch that video. I'm sure it would help you a lot if you have any questions as a non-native speaker, that is. So you can get a meetup at RTX Sydney someday, hopefully, <laughs> if I can go there, that is. It's kind of hard to go there. First, I need to find a job. But oh well. Okay, I think I... Fight me with my non-existent guns. Blakey, you're so small. I don't want to fight you. You're just so cute and small, since I know how you look like. So I don't, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I love you so much, though. Who's excited for Ruby Volume 7? It's really great, amazing, and it's impressive how you self-taught English. I'm Korean-American. Uh, I self-taught English myself with TV shows and movies and games, to be honest. But then I convinced my dad to send me to US for education. And it really helps in, ter in terms of my speaking. I went to Florida, to a university in Florida. It was an interesting experience. Florida is just so hot. Any important deaths you're expecting to see in Ruby Volume 7? Uh, Maria, probably. Hopefully not, though. No, they're invincible, but you can't feel them, so you don't know that they're there. 
you're just cute and lovely. I'm not cute and lovely, dude. Don't say stuff like that to me. <laughs> I I want to feel like I, I'm a badass person, but people keep saying that shit. I, I don't know. But yeah, I just literally cried on every phrase, like, napkins and shit, so... Okay, there are still 48 people here, and I've been talking for an hour and 43 minutes. Should I end the stream? Unrelated to the whole business lately. Uh, I have to go. Thanks for being such an amazing person. You made my day lot. Oh, thank you. Goodbye, Salem. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> you guys are sweet. You're a puppy with a leather jacket. How dare you? Incorrect bumblebee. Look, I still remember that freaking photo you put under my tweet. I hate you for it. Because it looks so similar to me. <laughs> okay, I think I should end the stream, guys. It's getting like it's morning, almost morning. I'm not soft. I I'm I'm tough. I'm not soft. No, it's it's I'm not soft. <laughs> I'm not a cinema rule. Guys, stop. No. No, 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 no. Don't, don't go there. <laughs> look, I try really hard to look tough. Don't do this to me. And please do not tell anyone that I cried in a stream. Let's keep this between us, okay? The 50 people who watch the stream, please do not tell this to others. I can't handle that shit. Okay, goodbye, Raymond. I also need to go to bed. Like, you're in the United Kingdom, and I'm even, like, further ahead of you. I have to go. Autumn didn't cry. Exactly, I didn't cry. I didn't cry. That's a lie. I, I, I never cry on my videos. Oh, please, guys. You truly deserve it. So for now, I will leave you with the small gift. You don't have to. Florida is best state. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donation. Take care. Let's share this. Incorrect bumble. No, 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 no. Do not share this on Twitter. You have a lot of fault. Don't do this to me, please. Hammy's been already sharing a lot of stuff about me and furries. I can't handle another stuff with crying and whatever. I don't have a harem, guys. Please. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I should go now. Thank you so much for like staying around. I still can't believe even after two hours, like. 50 people have been watching. Tell your dog I love them. <laughs> my dog... <laughs> my dog is sleeping on my mom's bed. Because, like, her her bed is more comfy and, like, it's huge. And he usually leaves me alone. I would, I would tell him, though. Okay, thank you. Thank you all so much for the donations and for the sweet words and for the questions. And I can't believe I got this emotional. I'm really sorry. It wasn't my intention. Uh, but yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you all will take care. I don't know when I will make another Q&A live stream, but we'll see, I guess. I guess we'll see. But yeah, for now, I should go to bed. Take care, guys.